Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you guys and girls how to clean your trainer for eBay reselling, eBay reselling, how to clean it quick and easy. Uh, I'm not going to go into sticking your trainers and vans and converse into washing machine, you can do that if you want. Well, this is quite simple because I used to do a lot of um, putting it through washing machine and things like this. So I I'd simply I'll show you what you need. You need some baby wipes. There we go. Baby wipes. Okay. You possibly need some. I uh, need a used tooth uh, toothbrush. Okay. Uh, used toothbrush. Okay. Once battered old toothbrush. Yeah. And you could have a little. Uh, a brush. Uh, this this brush uh, used for dishwashing and things like that. So I just use it like this. Okay. So what we do normally. Um, this if you if you're doing a, a top notch uh, trainers, it's best to not to use too much water. You will you will ruin the uh, uh, the uh, the material of that trainer. So look, take a look at here. So we have a pair of uh, Air Max. And I've done already a bit of cleaning. Look, cleaning the side of it here. Look, see how how um, whitish it looks. Prior to that, it was dark. Okay, so and here again, and what you need to do get a wipe and you just wipe it. You know, you wipe uh, nice and firmly, and you can use if some some of the dirt doesn't want to come out, you just use the uh, the um, tooth. toothbrush but another thing you know I don't have the time but you know you can use some um, um, there's other method of cleaning it carbon soda works great uh, dip it in the water get your thing um, toothbrush and you can do that look so we are going to go through that. This is a bit of dirt here, as you can see. This here, so we're gonna go. And if it's a stubborn dust, may not come out, right? So we do that again. Um, this bit here on the the grill side of Air Max, what you need to do is just go that any sort of grime goes in, inside the grill, it'll come out. So we just do the wipe like that. And while we go look at this, voila, again, it looks good. And the same thing we do for this side as well, we just get that wipe, wipe it out. Again, get your brush, brush it out. You might get some stubborn, you know, paint, little drops of paint, it's not going to come out, so don't worry about that. Again, do that all around. And obviously it's going to get a bit wet, so you need to dry it before you start taking photograph of it. Or people will think, oh, what the heck is also going on here? And the next bit is, right, as you can see, it does contain a bit of dirt. There we go. Um, you can wash it, but you don't want to do that. So just do a bit of dry. Yeah, I just get that big lumps out you know look again use the wipes rather than water because you, you ruin the materials you know really you ruin it now the difference between cleaning and non cleaner pair is selling at $19.99 and selling at $29.99 simple as that okay so if you have a clean pair and I don't want to go bang on this video because it's going to take such a long time. Well, I'm just showing you a bit here. Look at the difference already. Look. There we go. Look at the difference. When you take a photograph of the uh, the threads, do you not think people will love it? So you see this picture like this now. Look. Look at the other one. Look at the difference between this one. Okay, let's go back a bit and look at that one. 
Let's go forward a bit. Look, look how dirty it is, okay? And that's how you train. You can chain. Clean your trainer using uh, baby wipes, toothbrush, and a little brush, a dishwashing brush or something. Same thing again. Get use it. If you you can always wear the gloves if you like. You know, I, I can't be bothered with this. I'm gonna go to wash my hand. And some people think, ah, I've been walking all this, every piece of shit, shite, oh, excuse my language, everywhere. But I don't want to touch this. But end of the day, look. You know, if it gets you a couple of pounds extra, what's the point of not doing it? Look, see that? A couple of minutes. It takes only a couple of minutes to clean it. Right. So this pair is quite nice looking. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with the other pair here. And this. This is a cloth base cloth base um, baby wipes, cheap one, not expensive, I bought it from pound shop, right again look, look how dirty, let's go, go for the husky car, how dirty it is here, and on the rim here, look how dirty, okay, so we are going to do the, the honor of getting that mark out here, there we go, and then again use that toothbrush really get get it get it get it in there firmly now look as you can see ladies and gentlemen let's go and look see that and let's move the forward a bit that's how clean it is now that's it look at this now when you take a photo of the back shot of the people like to see this stuff they like to see nice shiny tidy looking stuff you're selling it and as i said before it's a difference between $19.99 and $29.99, simple as that, or $14.99 against $19.99, not ifs or buts my friends, so, you know, and that is where the professional comes in, and that is how you can increase your business, and that is how people come to you, they know they're going to get a good deal, because you are taking care of, you. everything you sell, you take care of things, like you take care of your customers, right? So, uh, say that, use that brush a bit. Okay, there we go. And as I showed you before, one, two, three, there you go. Yeah, brilliant. Look at that. Just look at that. The the rim on those look at that look how clean I just made it look it's like white as white whiter than white that is beautiful absolutely beautiful so there we go and now when you take a photo this will like you can easily sell it uh, I know you can already sell it but there you go makes it more interesting look I hold that pair down there like that okay I'm sure you can see it. Okay, so right here. Oh, okay, all well done. Same thing again. Um, uh, again, use the brush. Use the toothbrush. Use. Uh, let me throw this away. Right. Get hold of the wipes and look. See here on the Nike uh, Nike logo here. Look, there's a kind of Dutch dark patches here. Let's see if we can thumbs out. Right. Okay. Even if it doesn't come out, but this is a, like a scaffold mark. Okay, so it's going to be difficult that to come out. But we'll give it a go. I don't want to wash the material to make it ruin it. You know. I have no time ruining it. You know, all I do is put it against and and I just use the brush, sorry, toothpaste, toothbrush, yeah. And to do that, okay, look at the difference. Yeah, one of them actually came off. One has come off, look. There we are, it's much better now, okay? So that's how you 
uh, and well, I tend to clean my before I put them up for sale and prior to that I used to stick them in a washing machine and use a, a pillowcase in the washing machine uh, and I found a lot of people complain you cannot wash leather trainers and things like that in a washing machine and I proved them wrong you can do it if you have to put it on a low wash and make sure you you put in a pillowcase but nowadays I don't tend to do that you know I found look this is a better way of better way of selling it at the end of the day this what I'm selling is second hand so used items so why I need to bother and waste time with this you know people know they're buying second hand they know they're buying used but as I said before even though they're used it has to look professional it has to look presentable so there you go now our video is getting quite a long ladies and gentlemen so I I'm sure you've uh, seen it how pretty has this room come look look how clean it is now and all you need to do is spend a couple of minutes that's all again look at that look at that one against this one now oh, see I, I just showed you a bit I haven't cleaned up properly but there we go look at that see how nice and clean that is against this one needs a bit of cleaning see see on that back it's still dark right so uh, there we go see only a couple of wipes there against there let's like, see that so that's how you clean your trainers for your ebay business so if you want to improve your sales this is this technique right thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos Please make sure you click like and subscribe button and comment on the video. And the next thing you do, I will leave a link to my YouTube, sorry, not only YouTube channels, I leave a link to my eBay shops. So you can go in there and have a look, have a look around. And also an Amazon link. Please, if you, uh, if you buy product on Amazon or you buy product on eBay, Please kindly go through my links where if you buy products I they will pay me a reward so I can go and buy myself a cup of tea or coffee when I go to the car bursel. Ladies and gentlemen.